this particular video will be about cash flow in tomato and cucumber. Hope you understand what I mean by cash flow. Me, whenever I start harvesting from May to December, I always take my produce to market at least twice in a week. Sometimes, three times, sometimes, four times. So, and um, to do something like that, you, to do something like that, you have to have a consider, considerable numbers of workers and land. For example, I'll be using myself as an example. I have like 2.3 hectares here. And I divided it into like six sections. Out of that six sections, four is four is fully irrigated only two I, I only the two that i i normally use with rain fed so now i will take you through all the sections tell you the numbers of stand i have so this particular section i have this is section a which is 5500 stand and i have cucumber there the cucumber is ready for harvest do you get me? Now, let's go. You can see the cucumber. So, at the side here, I have tomato here. Which is setting fruit at the moment. And this is section A. This is still section A. My distance with photo is 1.2 meter. Why between the distance between plants is just 30 centimeter. So this is another section. This is section. This is section B. It is also it is you can see irrigation system there. So and this 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 section can contain 10,000 stand. Over there, which we are which is beside the greenhouse and my nursery house. We are going there now. I will show you. You will see you will see young tomato there. You can pause it. So this is where the five thousand five hundred stand end. This is where it ends. So this is my nursery house over there. You can see look at this the T junction where I take my water from here to down section D. Section D over there. So we are going there. I will show you everything. This is my nursery house. This is where we raise ceilings. So this is section C. Section C. Look at it over there. This section C. This particular this particular area can cover. 5,600 stand. It can contain 5,600 stand. You can see drip tape there and irrigation system there. So, the next thing now, we are going to section section D. Pause it. So, this is section D. That is section C over there. You can see this is where it ends. You can see it cap over there. So, this is the section section D. So, you can see how we bring water here. So, this particular section now, it can contain 8,600 stand. You can see the irrigation system there. So, now, if you have been following me, you will see cucumber that is ready for harvest. You will see tomato that just begin to set fruit. You will see young tomato over there. Over there. Now, I'm planning to plant another cucumber over here over here so here you you can see where we, we brush over there so the next thing we will do now is we will pack everything then we plant cucumber here then this is the two section that I'm I'm, I'm 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 telling you about that I use for rain field that is there is no drip there so So, 
look at section section he over there now let's let's go there they are harvesting they are harvesting to we are harvesting tomato today so you can see this is the section he this is the section he we are harvesting at the moment you can see the tomato down here yeah. yes we are harvesting and this is another another section which is section f uh -huh. the section here can contain seven thousand stand that particular one are, we are harvesting now and this section section f you can see it's it's a, a long farm you can see it. so this one also can contain around eight thousand five hundred stand so now can you see my picture is my 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 face it's not that black right so now my whole strategy is like this i don't normally if i have like maybe ten thousand stand i will not address it the same day why because i will not want a situation whereby there is a, there will be a glut and you wait when you take all your tomato at once to market and there is glut you can you, you won't you won't want it to imagine what you will feel so I have tricycle, I have like two, this is one, this is the whole one, I have another one again. So when I see that I have maybe, I have like maybe 40 or 30, some 30, let me say 30 or 40 crates. I can just, this one can contain like maybe, it can take 18, while the other one at home can, can take up to like 22 or 24 crates. So, but most time I prefer to be using one tricycle and be taking my market once as in every day so but when i see that what i wanted to have it is sort of like maybe 80 crit then i will not be using the two tricycle that's one of the strategies that i use because in order to just boycott the glut so and again make sure that you have enough workers before you can say you wanted to plan something like this if you don't have worker it will not work you can see us now we have the, we, we are planning to plant and we have kukuma we are harvesting we have tomato this one is about before this one finish this section this section have e finish the section f will be ready and there's one mistake there's a mistake here i will want you i will not want you to do again you see the whole farm and the new farm if you are planting cucumber if you are planting tomato and to and tomato mm, tomato and uh, new tomato okay? what i wanted to what, what i'm trying to say is it should there should be enough distance this particular distance is not enough because the disease from here will be transferring to this new one so you should make sure so in 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 a more sense way is you should plant tomato here cucumber here and tomato there so there will be enough space so I want you to work on that if you are planning to do something like this too. So you plant every month. And once your, once your produce start to be, to be, once your produce is ready, you will be seeing that at least once or twice in a week, you will be taking your produce to market. So if there's anything you wanted to ask me, just put it in the comment section. Thank you.